Hello, right, Collective Pitch Boy, Psychic Samario here, Psychic Shorten and Psychic of the Stars with your Twin Flame uh, love reading for the sign matchup of Taurus and Sagittarius. Okay, Taurus and Sagittarius. Okay, go ahead and start here. All right, OG, Joseph, Dennis, Lawrence, Fox, Tiffany, and Ancestors of OG, Sam, and Roy, Anthony, Nancy, and Tony. Quite my ally. Fanny Bell, and Nancy, and Nancy, and Nancy, and Nancy. Francis, and Nancy, and Nancy, and Nancy, and Nancy, and Nancy. Okay, first position, the Six of Pentacles. On top of that is the King of Swords to the right. Okay, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Chamuel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Uriel, Yishu Papalekba, Oshun, Shingo, and Ogu. This is what you have for the sign of Taurus Sagittarius. All right. Okay. I'm doing what is called a Celtic spread here. Okay, I'll explain this to you guys in a moment. For those who may not be familiar with this one, seven, need three more spirit. Beautiful gold cards here. Two. One. Two. Three, okay. All right, so here's what we have here for the sign of Taurus Sagittarius. All right, so with the Celtic spread, here it goes one, okay, two on top of one in the cross position. Right, if it points to the right, I read it in the positive or upright position. If it falls to the left, when I flip it, this way, I read it in the reverse. It came to the right, so I'm going to read it upright. Also, have the Six of Cups here. Uh, here the death card, the five of swords in reverse, and the two of pentacles upright. Okay, uh, hierophant, page of pentacles, seven of cups, and the death. I'm sorry, the devil in reverse. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look here. Sorry about that, guys. Let's see what we have here. It's amazing, aggravating me. We want to try part here. All right, let's start with the. Six of Pentacles here. So basically, it says where the relationship is right now. Okay, where the relationship is right now. So funny because the card, book was already open to the Devil card here. Um, let's go to the Six of Pentacles. Okay, Six of Pentacles. So it's for Taurus Sagittarius. Six of Pentacles. Of right, a gift. Your gift may arrive as a financial investment in your business from a mentor, a small legacy from a relative. A competition win, bonus, or other another payout that is wholly unexpected. It could be the stimulus, okay? You may also be appreciated just for being you, as your special gift may be small token from a friend. Equally, you may be inspired by generosity to give to others without expecting anything in return. Looks like maybe you may just come into some money or we'll come into some money soon, okay? Also now, what potential challenges you face here is the King of Swords, okay? We'll go ahead and read that. King of Swords here. All right. It says sleep. I'm sorry. Sharp and decisive. The king is a strategist, a strategist, often associated with successful business practice. Adept at solving problems, he is the ultimate manager, seeing the bigger picture while leaving others to work on the smaller issues. As a symbol of the situation, projects takes off. But do pay attention to detail to avoid delays. So potential problems is to pay attention to any detail. Don't gloss over any details. Or maybe sometimes just go back and just double check your work. That's what it's saying here. In the third position, what to focus on? Six of Cups. Let's look at that here. Six of Cups. And this is the Golden Tarot by Liz Dean. Let's look at the Six of Cups. Seven and the Six. This is what to look forward to. Oh, actually, what to focus on? Sorry, to focus on. Number three, what to focus on? Upright. Benefits of experience. Past and present mingle, bringing happiness and stimulation. You benefit from skills acquired and contacts from the past. Okay, reunions. Look like you're going to be spending a lot of time with family, loved ones, cousins, friends because of the quarantine. All right, having to be stuck at home because of the coronavirus. This is what I'm saying. Um, all right. You benefit from 
skills acquired from context from the past, and appreciate what your life experience has taught you. An old friend or other acquaintance resurfaces, and you enjoy time spent reminiscing. The company and ideas offer a spark of inspiration for future schemes and adventures. Right, this is the best time to network, okay, to tour Sagittarius. All right, um, this is the past. Maybe you dealt with the death literally recently, maybe this week, maybe someone passed from the coronavirus that you know, as it speaks to the literal meaning of this card. But let's go to the death card here. Upright, and this is for uh, upright meaning. This is more so like, again, speaks to the past. Things that may tend to hunt you or still maybe tend to um, come back out every now and again. If you're having grief, the loss of a parent or loved one, Taurus or Sagittarius, um, more so for like a Taurus energy here, maybe a son who's not grieving his mom and maybe this is turning over in a relationship, causing problems with you, um, the woman in the relationship or the man relationship, okay, um, dealing with a man who maybe haven't grieved or haven't, you know, maybe haven't dealt with death recently, Sagittarius or uh, Taurus, all right, but let's see what it sets up right, um, but this, that's, that's, that's my sense of effect of it, but let's look at the literal sense of the, of the card, um, the end of a life phase, okay, relationships, a career, even an era comes to a close, okay, maybe something you have a hard time letting go of, like a, like a disappointment or a failure, Accept that this is necessary change, right? From a friend you have grown away from to a commitment that has restricted your creativity, right? Could be weed, could be marijuana, smoking too much, drinking too much, an addiction, drugs, okay? Um, when you break outdated ties, new people and prospects are free to enter your world. Change is coming and it's better to embrace it than resist, all right? It may be a blessing in disguise, okay? So stop holding on to the past. You're going to block your future, Sagittarius and Taurus, all right? This is your strength, okay? The five of swords, five of swords in reverse here. Let's make sure that was the right one. This is your strength. Okay, let's see. Five of swords in reverse here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So in one second here, we get this back up and organize here. One second. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Five of Swords here. My hand accidentally hit my tripod here. All right, Five of Swords in reverse. This is what your future holds. Uh, here, I'm sorry, this is your strength. Sorry, the strengths. It's what makes you guys strong in relationship. All right, exposure. A tense situation escalates, and initiative has failed, but fear of humiliation and exposure to spiteful criticism means you remain defiant rather than admit past mistakes, okay? This is like not wanting to address an issue or maybe just being able to just say, hey, I move past it. I don't want my feelings involved. Just give me the truth, okay? I don't have to sugarcoat it. You don't have to sugarcoat it with me if it's a problem or we need to talk about it, okay? Um, but if you're defined and want to talk, um, there may be more of a weakness here, but the strength here to see rather than admit past mistakes, to stop the downward spiral, you may need to own up to errors, painful though this may be, okay? That's going to be your strength here, okay, this is going to be your near future, okay, two of pentacles, two of pentacles, a lot of juggling back and forth mostly, okay, upright, solvency, okay, your financial situation may be volatile, but the two affirms that with careful management, you will have enough money, repeat to me, I will have enough money, okay, Taurus and Sagittarius say, I will have enough money to pay my way. All right, life is unpredictable with many demands on your time, but your business is solvent, it's Gucci, okay? Turn the fuck up, okay? And professional partnerships run smoothly. Although in romantic relationships, you may need to negotiate your share of the domestic workload. Ooh-wee. Towards Sagittarius, somebody's being lazy, so somebody's tired of picking up after you, okay? Things <laughs> are uh, seven, this is the suggested approach. Be wise about it. Maybe rehearse it. Okay, don't come at the person sideways or any sideways about a situation. I'm just saying more so be wise. Okay, be a wise and stupid character. Hit the hierophant. Um, this is what I'm saying here. Uh, wait a second. All right. It's saying maybe it's time to take advice from someone you trust. The hierophant often reveals an authority figure such as a father, teacher, or the mentor. He or she symbolizes practical wisdom, so his or her influence can help you resolve a challenge. 
This card also denotes a spiritual dimension, so it can indicate that you are about to embark on a new course of learning that will bring you closer to your soul's purpose. This is how you approach it. Spirituality, more prayer life, okay? More joining hands together. All right, this is also saying like, number eight, what you need to know. What you need to know is the Page of Pentacles here. Page of Pentacles is what you need to know, okay? You need to know the good news. As the person, the page is responsible and diligent. He or she symbolizes hard work and a mature attitude. And he or she advises that you keep on top of money matters to avoid future shortfalls towards Sagittarius. You will be solvent, like I said before. The two of pentacles, you will be solvent. It's adjacent here, okay? It's adjacent to this card. You will be solvent, right? You will be Gucci, right? All right, it'll be Gucci, but avoid unnecessary extravagant now and focus on longer term financial goals. New projects are favored. Why I know that? Because your hopes and fears of Seven of Cups is that you may not believe it because of illusions. You don't believe what you see. You doubt yourself. You're overthinking, Taurus. You're overthinking, Sagittarius. Stop overthinking. What God has for you is indeed for you. All right? Are you... Um, many opportunities and invitations beckon, some of which could help you achieve a tragic goal. There is immense potential for your time to shine, but the wealth of offers will cause confusion. You will need to rely upon your instincts. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Discernment. Okay. Your instincts and discernment or first impressions rather than logic. Let your intuition alone guide you towards an inspired leap forward. Okay. So your fear is also your, your greatest accomplishment. Okay. Um, what is the outcome? The outcome is the devil card in reverse here. The devil card in reverse, which is here. Obsession such as unhappy, destructive affair. When reversed, the devil shows an inability or unwillingness to break a bond that has no future due to immaturity, desperation, or low self esteem. This card may indicate a struggle with addiction. Okay, so potentially want to address that if this is maybe causing financial matters or financial issues with the relationship, okay? To, uh, towards Sagittarius, if you want to get more clarity on that, book a reading with me. My email address is below. You can also come add me on Instagram and DM me for booking a reading with me that way as well. Again, my name is Saka Samario. This is the dual twin flame reading for the sign of Taurus and Sagittarius. All right, I love each and every one of you guys. All right, bye-bye.